which you've never seen. Let's just state that. I wouldn't that. be allowed to know what's Hello, going please. on in my mind. Please Probably don't. not. Please it's a don't. dead donkey with flies. Cham, sorry, around. I know you're in the zone <laughs> and you don't need to hear the sounds of Levi singing. It's appalling. Like someone stepping on a cat, as I've told you many times. That's a compliment for me. Actually, yeah. Um, how are you feeling tonight? Back in the saddle? Yeah, not too bad. Any too words bad. of advice from your daughters, your dad? You could have bought this, could have bought... Well, you bought everything, let's face um, it. Just keep winning. Okay, good. Good Dick, plan. Good Works, that one. Let's see who you're up against tonight. Good luck. Our first challenger plays touch rugby, hockey and netball. She also writes music and insists that she can recall every single meal that she's ever had. Uh -huh. From Brunswick, please welcome Eleanor Williams. Is that so? We'll find out. Hi, Eleanor. Hi. Our second challenger is a human resources consultant who wants to travel the world. He's recently discovered a passion for counselling and plans on getting a psych degree. From Northcote, please say hello to Peter Knight. G'day, Peter. G'day, Ed. I understand you're a twin. Are you, yep. are you the better looking? Pardon? Are you the better looking of your twins? I am the better looking. We don't look anything alike. Really? OK. Nothing and smarter? Alike. We'll find out. It would be good to have twins on to see. It would. Settle family That's arguments, would great idea. It? Well, let's cash up Peter on his own and right. uh, Eleanor and Dom and get into it. $20 for everybody else. Okay, here we go, players. What do we call the education of boys and girls, or men and women, together in the same Eleanor? Co-educational. Yes, or co-ed would have done too. For three years, until 2003, John Stevens toured with which band as its replacement? Dom. In excess. Yes, yes, after noise works. Which homophone is both a dish of ice cream with ingredients such as fruit, nuts and whipped cream and a day of the week, Peter? Sunday. Sunday on both counts. Let's buckle up. Our first sprint for tonight, 20 seconds goes on the clock and it starts now. A Christmas tradition is to kiss under which planet, Eleanor? Kiss okay. Yes, fictional character Clark Kent works for which metro... Dom. Daily Planet. Yes, which UK band's debut album was Please Please Me? Eleanor? Beatles. Yes, to be recklessly determined is to be what bent? Peter. Hellbent. Yes, ambassadors and governors are addressed as your what, Peter? Excellency. Yes, playing Mickey Spillane's Mike Hammer on TV with Stacey Who. Before the Who tur sounds, Stacey Keach we needed. Everyone firing on the buzzers. You're hot tonight, you lot. Eleanor, Peter, a share of the lead, 35 to spend. You can be tempted when Lavinia says the low price and walk away with this. Peter or Eleanor, here's a piece of art that looks as good on the floor as it does on a wall. This handmade wool and silk rug has been made according to strict century-old traditions, so it has the ability to add a sense of warmth, beauty and history to any room. Valued at $2,900 tonight, it's looking especially good at just $6 from Bijan Exclusive Rugs. Well, you always see these rugs discounted, don't you? It's hard to pay full price for Persian rug. Who's up for it? Eleanor, Peter, six dollars. You're thinking it's a question in a little bit, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Five dollars. Lean One on question. that thing. Eleanor, Peter, Do you'll have something right. the twin brother doesn't. <laughs> hey, you say, look what I want on the show. Going once. Oh, Eleanor, good. good. You can show that to your sister who was on the show a couple of weeks ago, right? Well bought. By what nickname did we know the Australian cleaning products entrepreneur who died in 2000? Peter. Big Kev. Big Kev. I'm excited. That's right. Unlike other muscular tissue able to conduct electricity, like nerves, is the myocardium, the muscular part of which? Peter. The heart. Of the heart. You are right. And up to 45. $10 into play. It's a first look at our famous faces. Who am I? Born in Sydney in 1952, I studied law at the University of Queensland and graduated with arts and law degrees before earning a master's degree from the Queensland University of Technology. I worked as a solicitor at the Supreme Court before being elected to the Queensland Parliament as member for Brisbane Central. And I served as chairman... Peter? Peter Beattie. Peter Beattie's quite right, yes. There we go, Peter. Your namesake gets your first look at our famous faces. Here they come. One of the great actors of our time, William H. Macy and Bobby. Getaways, Natalie Bilsleski. Is it a bird? No, it's Ben Affleck playing TV Superman in Hollywood Land. Freedom Writers star Hilary Swank. From The Good Shepherd, it's Matt Damon. With a little razzle dazzle, Nolene Brown. Jeff Daniels plays Alvin Dewey in Infamous. Is it really her? Yes, Jessica Beale in The Illusionist. And Mike Munro. Go, Peter, first look. The prizes or cash? William H. Macy, thanks. Isn't he a ripper actor? Here he goes. For you, Peter. The turbo. Well, chance to round things up a little when we come back for round two. Got a handy lead already, up to 45. Eleanor and Dom on 30 apiece, and that's where we leave it. More temptation after this quick break.
Welcome back. Finding out some interesting facts about our contestants, aren't we? Yes, we get these little bio cards. And Eleanor, it says that you're in the Butterfly Glee Club. What is that? It's right. It's a choir that performs at the Butterfly Club in South Melbourne. Mm -hmm. So it's um, a weekly, a weekly choir. What happy little songs do you sing? Do lots of uh, lots of fun thong songs like '80s theme tunes and that sort of thing. Did you ca <laughs> catch any of Lavinia singing when you were just out the back before I the didn't. Show? I missed out. Oh, oh you're lucky. Well, lucky you're lucky. lucky. You're lucky. <laughs> show us, Lavinia. Would you sing us a little something? Just a... Oh, I only sing in choirs. If you'll both sing with me. No. <laughs> no right. I will. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Um, good luck in the show. Peter, also, um, something interesting we found out. You're into crocheting. Oh, yes. <laughs> what are you working on at the moment, Peter? I'm working on a shawl. A shawl? For no. For a baby that's due in May. Right, okay, so got some work to go still. Oh, dear. Crocheting. Interesting contestant. I wouldn't have picked that. No, I wouldn't have either. I'm going to go and knit, per knit one pearl one. <laughs> Can't even spit it out. I'm not leave sing. you to it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Round two now, players. Made popular by its association with Queen Elizabeth II was the Pembroke breed of which... Peter. Corgi. The Welsh Corgi, you're right. A turbo one for you, Peter, so double dollars. The 1965 single Uptight, Everything's Alright, was one of the most popular early hits for which... Dom. Stevie Wonder. Super Muso, you're right. A fictional character in a series of children's books by Swedish author Astrid Lindgren is Pippi Who. Peter. Long stocking. That's how you use your turbo up for 65 already, Peter. We're up at the gift shop with you. Plenty up your sleeve. Here's Lavinia. Peter, what could be a better reward than spending four nights in stunning Port Douglas? You and a friend will stay at a luxurious beach resort surrounded by lagoons and nestled on Four Mile Beach. With sparkling wine, a dinner, high tea and breakfasts, it's pure indulgence and relaxation. Including airfares, it's $6,651 or get your just reward for only $10 from Sheraton Mirage Port Douglas. Is your twin brother crochet, incidentally? No. Ah. No, I got all the talent. Okay. How Brilliant. about the little bit of time in the sunshine, my friend? Yeah, you could finish off that shawl. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Peter, you win. You lead by $30. That's plenty. We're chucking $100 for some extra wool. Hey, <laughs> hey easy. Nice. Well, boy. Turbo helping you out there, too. We're back to the questions. What's the popular name for devotees belonging to the International Society for Krishna mm. Consciousness? Peter? Scientologists? <laughs> <coughs> we won't go there. Hare Krishnas, we're looking for. Adopted in the maritime world in the early 19th century was the system of semaphore using what implements? Dom. Flags. That's it, champ. Up to 40. Cliff Richard was the most frequent performer, about 75 times, on which long-running British music chart TV program? <coughs> Eleanor. Top of the pops. It was indeed. Singing. See, you know you're stuck there. $15 in the play now. For pick of the board, who am I? Born in Sydney in 1973, I was raised in Earlwood and while still at school was cast in an Australian film that subsequently became a TV series. I followed this with the role of Warren Lanfran... Peter. Claudia Carvin? Not oh, Claudia Carvin. The role of Warren Lanfranchi in the controversial Blue Murder miniseries. And in 1997, landed the role of Charlie in the acclaimed series Wild Side. My performance as a troubled Greek youth in the movie Head On brought me critical acclaim and an AFI nomination. And in recent times, I've appeared on stage with the Griffin Theatre Company and in the Hollywood films Juice Bigelow, European Gigolo and Ghost Ship. Known for roles in the film The Heartbreak Kid and TV series Eleanor. Alex Dimitriades. That's right, Alex Dimitriades, who played opposite Claudia Carvin in that movie, Peter. The famous Faces, who's catch, catching Bob your Hillary eye? Hilary Swank, please. Isn't she great? Oscar winner, what's she got? The three matching pieces in this beautiful jewellery collection feature hand-selected charms and beads from all over the world. They're $1,018 from Palace. Nice, over $1,000 worth, that's yours. More questions to come. Which biblical parable tells of a son who returns home repentant, Peter? Prodigal son. Prodigal son, after squandering his fortune. Derived from the fruit of a tropical tree, is which spice, beginning with N, a traditional ingredient of egg nut, Peter? Nutmeg. Nutmeg is right. Also a word meaning respected and impressive, is which of our months, the year's eighth? Dom. August. August is right, the champ won't go quietly. On my go, though, we're into a sprint. 20 seconds is set on the clock. It starts... Now, what is the woody seed case of the gum tree? Peter? Gum nut. Yes. Alpine or Nordic? What kind of skiing event is this? Peter? Alpine. Yes. What French term denotes a doorkeeper or porter? Peter? Concierge. Yes. A 70s album by Neil Diamond is beautiful what? Peter? Thing. 
Noise. Organisations supplying communities with water, gas, etc. A public what? Locking you out. Public utilities we needed. Peter jumping in early but still keeps his nose in front despite a couple of little hiccups. Your score is 70, the champ 45 and Eleanor 35 and we leave it there. However, we've got some money to dish out, $500 each night with our home viewer questions. Now this is the answer to last night's question, Charlize Theron grabbed an Oscar for her role in this movie, I'm sure you knew it. What's the next twister I wonder? Well it's no secret that Tiger Woods is one of the greatest golfers of all time, but he wasn't born with the name Tiger, what is his given name? So if you'd like to win $500, and who wouldn't, call or SMS your answer before 6am Eastern Daylight Savings tomorrow and you can win $500. Ooh, go on, be a Tiger, get amongst the cash. Back with round three, good game tonight, temptation continues in a flash. Round three, Chant has to make a move to catch Peter who leads on $70, and here's the questions. In a song best known in a version by Frank Sinatra, which US city is described as that tod... Dom. New York. That toddling town, the rest of the question, Chicago we needed. Blowing a six-stroke lead to lose the 1996 US Masters by five strokes to Nick Faldo was which Australian? Dom. Greg Norman. It was the shark, yes, one of his biggest meltdowns. Serving Rome, Italy's largest airport, is named after which architect, sculptor, engineer? Peter? Da Vinci. That's right, Leonardo. He's a painter and musician as well. The vault's opening up. Peter, $30 clear. Plenty of breathing space here if you want to go and grab yourself some money. Maybe $10,000 enough to get you excited? You bet. OK, let's go. We have the numbers spinning. Fire away, Peter. We have 83 to open the account. 283. Oh! That's measly. That's where we leave it. 283, Peter. Um, in a fit of generosity, I'm going to bump it up to 290. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. All right. What a let's guy. Get, let's get back to the question. <laughs> Known in Persian as Eskandere Makduni is which king of Macedon, one of history's most successful military... Peter. Alexander. And a bit more information? The Great. That's quite right. Alexander the Great. This year marks 300 years since which country accepted union with England, creating the kingdom of... Peter. Scotland. Scotland gets you back to 70. Forget injuries, never forget kindnesses, is a saying of which most influential and respected philosopher in Chinese history? Peter. Confucius. Of course it is. To 75 now, Peter. Chance to catch him, champ. $25 into play. It's behind one of our famous faces. Who am I? Born in Bundaberg, Queensland in 1892 and dying in 1933. My first job was with the Bundaberg Foundry. I went to England in 1913 and served with the Royal... Peter? Charles Kingsford Smith? No, served with the Royal Naval Air Service and was awarded the Distinguished Service Medal while serving on the Western Front. After the war, I worked for an aircraft manufacturer in Southampton as a test pilot and in 1920, I set a duration record flying from London to Turin and in 1921, set a record flying from Sydney to Bundaberg. In 1931, I made the first solo flight across the South Atlantic but I'm best known for achieving the first solo flight from England to Australia in 1928, an event that made me a national hero. Known by the first name Bert and with a surname beginning with H, Dom. Hinkler. Hinkler gets you there. The aviation pioneer Bert Hinkler from the champ. Uh, Matt Damon, please. We're going straight for Matt Damon. What's he got? Enjoy the outdoors riding around on this impressive men's 16 speed bike. With Shimano gears and brakes, it's valued at $699 from Apollo. Chad, you're going to have to get on your bike. You trail by 30. The 25 would have been nice. Where was all the money tonight? The wild card was with Nolene Brown. Mike Munro had the $10, Jessica Beale the $15, and Natalie Grzleski had the $25. That's where it was hiding. Was that your pick tonight in a bet for the dishes? Well, we're back to see if Peter can hang on or if Dom can make his charge or Eleanor can win tonight. The Minute That Matters is coming up next. Here we go. We're back for the final showdown of tonight's Temptation. Fast money players. Dom, 45, the champ trails. Peter, 75, Eleanor, 35. And while we're doing the numbers, here's 60 seconds on the clock. Good luck to all our players. We start the clock now. What is the term for someone who owns shares in a company? Peter. Shareholder. Yes, the mantilla is a veil worn by women of which? Peter. Spain. Yes, which Italian surname of Christopher Columbus is also Peter? Colin. Sri Lanka's capital, Colombo. In the imperial system, 112 pounds equals 100 watt. 
hundred weight. Which African mammal has a howl that sounds like wild laughter? Eleanor? Hyena. Yes, Russian Vladimir Kramnik is world champion in which game? Dom? Chess. Yes, drafting the US Declaration of Independence was future president Thomas who? Peter? Jefferson. Yes, used for keeping food cool is the Hessian covered Cool Guardi. Peter? Safe. Yes, once an Olympic event in which sport was the 2000 metre tandem? Eleanor. Cycling. Yes, the word succinct contains how many letter C's? Peter? Three. Yes, what nationality was film director Satyajit Ray? Peter? Indian. Yes, a septuagenarian is someone who's reached what age? Peter? 70. Yes, leading Vietnam in its struggle for independence was Ho Hu. Eleanor? Ho Chi Minh is right. Peter gets over the line tonight. 105. Good win in the end. Well, there's a good score to start a Thursday night. Well Peter. done, Katie. You took it to a different level. Congratulations. I feel bad about the 283, but I did chip in a bit of my own hard-earned. And Peter, running out the night as the champion. Thank you. He'll put that $7 towards some wool. Oh, and somewhere <laughs> in Australia, your twin brother's going, oh, I could have got 106. <laughs> well done tonight. What's the wash-up for Eleanor and our outgoing champ, Dom? Well, Eleanor, thanks for joining us. You've got the jewellery and rug ne worth nearly $4,000. And Dom, okay. the sideboard, the dinner party, enjoy, and the vault cash, $13,000 worth. Good, get out for a couple of nights. So to see you go. Also going to leave us with this. Eleanor and Dom, to thank you for being on Temptation, we'd like you to have this beautifully crafted ballpoint pen. Made in France, they're from Waterman. Peter, welcome to the Hallowed 100 Club. Good win tonight in the end. Thank you. Brilliant. Not so great in the vault, but, you know, maybe we can write those songs tomorrow night. Here's where the big temptations come your way. For winning tonight, you scored yourself this. You'll be on cloud nine with this remarkable bed and bedding collection. The king-sized mattress has twin air chambers, allowing for personalised comfort. While this beautiful bed linen collection was created using new methods that harness the goodness of all natural fibres. Made from a combination of bamboo and cotton, this soft, luxurious bed linen allows for superior ventilation. Together, this is a $10,100 temptation from Sleepmaker Select and Perry. For over ten thousand dollars, I would sleep like a baby. Hey, yours to take away, Peter. I need a new bed too. All right, interesting. Well, can we tempt you to play and stay on for this amazing internet fridge? It's up for grabs tomorrow night. This incredible LG internet refrigerator is a window to the future. On top of doing what any ordinary fridge does, it lets you watch TV, download and play music, restock the fridge online, check the latest news, even do your internet banking, all without leaving the kitchen. At $16,999, this ingenious temptation is from LG Electronics. You like this? The kids have been playing with the camera on the internet fridge. And for you, it's got twin doors, hey? Eh? <laughs> nice for thinking. <laughs> Tomorrow night's temptation. For five wins, of course, the Volvo comes into play. This could be yours next week. The head-turning C70 T5 takes driving pleasure to a new level. With a six-speed manual or five-speed Geartronic transmission, this sensational four-seater delivers the performance to match its sleek looks. And with retractable hardtop, it goes from sporty coupe to exhilarating convertible in less than 30 seconds. Fully equipped with world-first safety features and intuitive controls, it's priced at $79,950 plus on-road costs. Volvo for life. Great car, the wind in your hair, I was going to say. <laughs> Yours for five nights. For six nights, you get all the goodies, you know the deal. Night number seven is cash account. And night number eight, our grand champion clears us out of the work. She'll be the first one for 2007. You get double your cash jackpot. Got that look of determination. Are you coming back or do you need 10 seconds to decide? No, that's all right. I've decided I'll be back. Peter's back. All right, we look forward to it. $50,000 for starters. That's on top of that extra seven I gave you. We're looking to a seven dollars, but to start. Let's make it hundred K now, Peter. In sixty seconds, if you get ten right, we're looking good. Five different sets of questions are standing by. Work away from the bottom up, we'll go with five. Okay, five it is. All the best of luck. Thank Time you. starts now. In what city is the National Gallery of Australia? Canberra. Correct. The degree, abbreviated to MBA, is Master of What Administration? Business. Yes. A deadly game of chance is Russian what? Roulette. Yes. Famously playing Agatha Christie's Miss Marple was Dame Margaret who? Pass. Rutherford. What type of tree features in Waltzing Matilda? Coolabar. Yes. Which US tennis legend is the coach of Andy Roddick? Pass. Jimmy Connors. Cooper Peaty is famous for the mining of which gem? Opals. Correct. What's the first name of Daniel Day-Lewis's poet laureate father? Pass. Cecil. Northern Tanzania is home to what famous national park? Pass. Serengeti. Country music's famous Grand Ole Opry is in which US city? 
New Orleans. Nashville. The prefix Sino pertains to which country? Japan. China. Starting with G is what triangular section formed by a roof? Pass. Gable. Is Australia's dingo a true dog or a marsupial? Dog. Yes. A defect in the roof of the mouth is a what palate? Cleft. Yes. Who is Australia's? Oh, ran out of time. We got seven there. Got seven. A couple you sort of knew just as you yeah. passed or said something wrong. Got to take your first response. I remember that. We got 50,000 plus seven. And that's a good $7. hit out. $7. Yeah, $7. And we're looking good for tomorrow night. Peter, is he the new hot champ who'll go all the way, I wonder? Only one way to find out, and you're better than your twin so far. We'll see you same time <laughs> tomorrow night. twin a lot. And we'll tempt you again. See ya. Good night. Good.